Tyler here with the GP Knives, and today we have the highly anticipated Spidey Chef from Spyderco. As the name would suggest, this knife was designed as a folding chef knife. It's got a fully flat ground blade with a satin finish, a long cutting edge with a sweeping belly and more rounded tip that is going to enhance both slicing ability and use in rocking cuts. It's got a fairly robust thickness in terms of the spine, but it's still going to have excellent slicing ability thanks to that full height flat grind. The blade steel that was chosen for the Spidey Chef is LC200N. It is also known under the name of Zfinit. Now this stands for fine grained nitrogen steel. This is an aerospace grade bearing steel that was used to replace 52100. The steel has nitrogen used in place of carbon, which helps bring the corrosion resistance up to the level or above that of H1. And it takes a very keen edge, is fairly easy to sharpen, and is going to have a moderate level of wear resistance. The LC200N is also capable of being hardened into the low 60s in terms of Rockwell hardness, and this is also going to enhance its cutting performance. The Spidey Chef is a titanium frame lock. It's got an open back construction for ease of cleaning and maintenance, and is very rock solid in the locked position. No blade play, vertical or horizontal. It's very secure in hand for the types of cutting tasks. The grip is ideal as it places the edge of the blade below the line of the knuckles, so you're going to be able to do some rocking tasks. The knife operates very smoothly, it does run on phosphor bronze washers, but as you can see, the deployment on this is going to be smooth and solid. The Spidey Chef carries via a standard Spyderco wire clip, which is an excellent and discreet option for carry for left or right hand tip up carry. And here you can see the Spidey Chef in my pocket. The matte finished wire clip provides a very secure and discreet carry of the knife. The thin overall profile of the knife takes up very little space in the pocket and allows for easy access to items within the pocket. And the knife, of course, deploys smoothly and easily from the pocket for use. Now, one of the obvious comparisons for the Spidey Chef is the Sleaze Bowie. You can see that these are both fairly similar in size and they are both heavily stonewashed titanium frame locks. Now, what you'll notice is that the Spidey Chef has more of a flat profile and a little bit thinner handle as opposed to the Sleaze, which has a thicker and more contoured profile. But for the types of cutting tasks that the Chef is going to be designed for, this is not going to be an issue. And here for a quick size comparison, I have the Spidey Chef with both the Paramilitary 2 on the left and the Sleaze Bowie on the right. You can see that these knives are all fairly similar in size with the Paramilitary 2 having a significantly longer handle. And of course, you're going to get actually the most cutting edge from the Spidey Chef in terms of blade and handle length. The Spidey Chef has the longest cutting edge. And here we can see a comparative thickness of the Spidey Chef and the Spyderco Paramilitary 2, with the Spidey Chef coming in at just a little bit thinner than the PM2. And now here we can see the Spidey Chef with the Sleaze Bowie. You can see that they are fairly comparable in thickness, the handle thickness being just a little bit thinner on the Spidey Chef, but with the pocket clip height being fairly similar between the two. If you like what you've seen today, check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. Like the video below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new and future videos. Again, that's the Spidey Chef from Spyderco. Check it out now at gpknives.com. Thanks for watching, and stay sharp.